So this is the batch control log for our super bar product um, for today. And the purpose of the batch control log is once you've actually set up a production run and know that you have enough inventory to complete it, um, this is something you could actually print out for your production team and they would take notes throughout the production process of how much you're using of each ingredient, checking off the, the lock codes and amounts of each ingredient, making sure they're, you're taking each required step of the production run um, to make sure it goes smoothly and as planned. And the first thing you usually do when you're doing a production run is you want to get all the ingredients. The, the very first thing we see here is the amount you'll need to complete your, your two required batches. Um, so you see we have, need 40 pounds of butter, 50 pounds of sugar um, for this recipe, um, all the way down the line. Uh, below that we have some run level notes. Um, it's like when we started, when we ended, who's in charge, finally how much we produced, any waste, and you can obviously add any other notes here as well. <clears throat> and once you actually start your production, you'll see that for batch one, it tells us that we need 20 pounds of butter, um, how much of each of the other ingredients, and this is where your production team would take notes on uh, how much was actually used of each ingredient, what the lock codes were, and you'd enter that back into the production run page before you close out your production run. Um, since, since this is a big production run, we have uh, a second batch down below that you'd repeat the process for, and your team would check off how much they're using, the lock codes, and any additional notes down here. Um, a couple useful things you can do is uh, increase the font size, uh, just so it's easier to read when you print it out. Um, and right now we're viewing the layout per batch. Um, you can output it as a single table if you click this button. Um, and that way you have all your batches in one table. Um, you have your first batch here and your second batch here. It makes it a little easier for adding up the total amounts you're using of each ingredient. The other useful thing here is that you can enter much more detailed information um, for this batch. So uh, for any recipe, you're not limited to just food ingredients. Um, you can add labor steps like uh, racking something in an oven, um, and you can enter really create and add any non-food uh, ingredients as different steps to a recipe. Um, and you can also uh, play around with the order. So if you go to a recipe's edit page, uh, which we'll do here, you can drag and drop the order, which will be reflected on the batch control log um, to make sure your team follows the right steps. Um, you can also, also enter any preparation instructions um, that will show on the batch control log. Um, you can make sure people are taking proper notes, um, entering any uh, information that you want to see, um, and make sure the production run runs as smoothly as possible. But um, adding non-food ingredients and <clears throat> creating your own ingredients um, for uh, non-food, uh, so just like other other labor, um, I don't know, uh, like peeling a certain ingredient or racking an item. Um, those are often really useful things for a batch control log. Um, and you can put that all into a recipe um, and order it so that your production team uh, has an easier time of uh, completing a production. Um, so that's a batch control log. Hopefully that helps. Um, as always, uh, send us any notes via the feedback button or give us a call and uh, we can chat and help you out. Thanks.